So for this lesson, we are going to be creating something that's very handy as a, for a graphic design student. It's, it's totally handy. It's like the Swiss Army knife of presentation. Um, so you get that here, but you get to create it. Um, the Swiss Army of presentation is the easel. It's, oh, it's so powerful. So if you do a Google search on cardboard easel template die lines, you will find absolutely no die lines laid out for one of these things. Okay? And one of the things that I did when I was younger, as into the whole package design thing, is develop one of these and I use it all the time. I mean, anytime I wanted to prop up artwork on a table, anytime I'm teaching another student like, hey, you could display your artwork like this, I whip out this little magical thing and I, I, I trace it on a box and say here here you go now cut that out and you can put it right on the back of your piece and it allows it to become an upright model okay so it's totally handy to have and it taught me all kinds of things about folding paper and cardboard so I want to share that experience with you in this chapter in the fact that nobody helped me do it all I had was a picture of it okay and I knew absolutely nothing back then, so it was a good time. Here is exactly what we were making. Okay. Now, as I said, you can do some searching on some, let's say, halfway in between concepts, like this one, for example. But we are making the double. What I would start with is the single. So the single, if you look around, you might get a couple of the single ones. See it? Once you get a single down pat, it's just a mirrored copy of it on the other side. That's it. Now there is some also different variations I found quite useful, like that one. And once you get the concept down, it's very easy to augment it to your own design okay but essentially this is exactly what we are making you are making that and you're gonna lay out the die lines in Inkscape so think about scalability um, let's say I wanted to make a display stand for an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper that's good but actually I'd have to print that on eleven by seventeen in order to fold it correctly. Scalability is very important here. So just make it within the the realm of eleven eight and a half by eleven because that's pretty much what I use it for all the time anyway. Alright, so your assignment is that is to create a display stand that looks like that. That cardboard back right there. And make it so it's universal enough to stick on any print. All I need is the die lines, just like we've been learning about in Inkscape. And the fold lines. And that should be good. And when you are done, you are to save it as um, first name, last name, easel. And it's going to be uh, Inkscape document period SVG, okay. scalable vector graphic. So I hope you enjoy the assignment. It will teach you a lot, trust me. And don't beat yourself up too much over the scrap that you produce when you make it. And if you make it all in one turn, good job. I love it. But make some mistakes because you learn from them. Enjoy.